Have you been researching Aeron chairs and you're a little bit confused about classic and remastered editions? In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you why there's two editions and what is different between them. Shopping for a new office chair? BTOD TV is your number one resource for everything office chairs. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Hey guys, it's Ryan with BTOD.com. In the early 1990s, Herman Miller released the Aeron chair. And at the time of its release, it was really ahead of its time with the mesh upholstery, the design that it used, and its overall functionality being way ahead of all of the other chairs in the category. Fast forward a couple decades, and Herman Miller knew that while their chair was still very popular and very functional, still a top end chair, that they needed to redesign the chair to make it more suitable for the demands in the current office environment. For this reason, Herman Miller redesigned the Aeron chair and they came out with the remastered version, announcing this in 2016. When the remastered version was released, they started calling the previous version the classic version. So we have the classic version right here and the remastered version right here. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the differences between these two chairs. Let's get into the list. The first difference that we're gonna look at between the classic and the remastered is going to be the overall size of the chair. So in the classic version, there's three sizes and they stuck with the three size system when they came out with the remastered. The biggest difference is gonna be the overall range of the people that can fit in the chairs. The size B is going to be pre pretty consistent, but we do see differences with the size C and the size A. So the classic version can fit people from 410 up to 66 and people from 90 pounds up to 300 pounds. The remastered can fit people that are 4'8 up to 6'7 and people that are 90 pounds up to 350 pounds. So if you go with the remastered version and you get the size A, it will fit people that are a bit smaller than the classic version. And the same goes with the size C on the remastered. It will fit people that are both a little bit taller and a little bit heavier. The next areas that we're gonna focus on are going to be build quality and the overall look of both chairs. So Herman Miller stayed really consistent with the design and the look of the chair. The remastered looks very similar to the classic version with a few differences being the mechanism. The mechanism on the remastered is gonna be a little bit slimmer and you cannot see the cables as much as you can on the classic version. Another difference is going to be the buttons and levers. The remastered version has a slimmer, more sleek button design than the classic. And the final thing that we're gonna look at in terms of the overall design and look of the chair is going to be the finish. It's a little bit more uniform on the remastered version. Almost everything is the exact same color. The classic is close, but it's not quite as uniform as the remastered. Now, when we're looking at build quality, the components are also going to be very, very similar, but we did notice some differences, and that's going to be that the Classic does have more metal, specifically aluminum on the chair, as compared to the remastered. Now, we have seen this in the industry with a lot of high-end chairs making the move to going to more plastic components. This not only saves them money and helps to keep the cost of the chair down, but it also produces a lighter chair and a chair that is oftentimes easier to recycle. So that's probably some of the reasons why Herman Miller did this. It does produce a chair that is about three, three pounds lighter than the classic, but you could argue that this is an overall downgrade in build quality if you're going to be swapping out aluminum components for some plastic parts. The seats on these chairs are also very similar, but there are a few slight differences. When we look at the design, the size, the shape, the feel, they're gonna be very similar, but Herman Miller did change a few things. The first being that they pitched the seat forward 1.8 degrees farther on the remastered as compared to the Aeron Classic. This is because they wanted to make the Aeron an easier chair to use in those fully upright computing tasking applications. Another difference that we see is in the mesh itself, the way that it is stretched across the frame. The remastered version still uses the Pelico mesh that's on the Aeron Classic and made it so famous, but they decided to design it in a way to give it four different flex zones to offer different amounts of support depending on where you are sitting on the seat. The final difference between these two seats is actually gonna be probably the biggest difference in terms of the way that they feel. And that's gonna be that the classic version has a pad at the front of the seat just under the mesh to help protect your legs from hitting the metal frame. Whereas the remastered chair did away with the pad with this design. So right away you might be thinking, why would they remove that pad? I think that I would want that there to protect my legs from the frame. But 
You have to take the whole design of the chair into consideration and not just the removal of the pad. So with the four flex zones, the pitched forward seat, and the removal of the pad, I've actually found that the front of the seat on the remastered is more comfortable than that on the Classic that has the pad. And this is because the Classic version's pad creates a spot on the mesh seat where it can crease. So where the mesh ends, where the pad is, you can sometimes feel that on the back of your legs, which is not present on the remastered chair. So both chairs still have the problem where you might be able to feel the front of the frame on the back of your legs, but the classic chair introduces another issue, which is the potential crease. And I believe that that is why they went away from that design with the remastered version. The next area that we're gonna look at is going to be the backrests and how they differ on these two chairs. They're going to be similar in size, shape, and the way that they feel, but there are going to be some slight differences. The first being the mesh, and this is gonna be really similar to the seat situation. The mesh is the same, it's the pellicle mesh, but the way that it is stretched is gonna be slightly different. So you're gonna have four different zones of support on the remastered chair, and it's designed this way just to give you better support for those long sitting sessions, and then you're not gonna have that on the classic version, and this is where the 8Z pellicle name comes from, four zones on the back, four zones on the seat, 8Z Pellico. The next differences that we see with the backrests are going to be when you upgrade to lumbar support or posture fit lumbar support. So when you just get the height adjustable lumbar support system on the Classic, what you'll get is a rubber pad that you can slide up and down and you can actually take the pad out and flip it over and it gives you two different depths in terms of how much support is being given to your lower back. On the remastered version, they decided to update this design a little bit with more of a bracket system with a plastic backing and a pad on the front that you can slide up and down. Now, you can also go with a posture fit lumbar support system on both models. With the classic version, it was more basic. They decided to update it a little bit on the remastered, so it actually covers more of your, more of your sacral region all the way up through your lumbar, so a very big vertical area that it covers, just offering more support than the original posture fit system allowed on the classic Aeron model. So we'll start to get into the functions on the chair and how they differ. The first one that we're gonna look at is going to be tilt lock. And this is actually an area where I feel that Herman Miller took a step back when they came out with the remastered. And that is because the classic version features infinite tilt lock and the remastered version features three position tilt lock. So what is the difference? The difference is, is that the classic can lock in any position you want. That's what infinite position tilt lock means. Anywhere within the range provided, you're only gonna get three positions with the remastered version. This could be a problem if you want to be in a position that isn't offered on the remastered. Maybe your preferred position is in between two of the options provided. You're not gonna have that issue with the classic because you can lock it in any position that you'd like. The next function where we see noticeable differences is going to be the tension adjustment. Tension adjustment allows you to control how difficult it is to recline in your chair. So turn the knob one way to make it more difficult, turn it the other way to make it less difficult and you have control over your recline function. Now both tension adjustments on these chairs work as intended. The major difference between them is that the tension adjustment on the remastered is much more responsive. What do I mean by that? What I mean is that you can turn the knob on this chair two to three times and see a noticeable difference in how difficult it was to recline. To get the same result and the same noticeable difference on the Classic, you're probably going to need to turn the knob 10, 15, 20 times. So there's much more time spent trying to get the tension locked in and in a good position on the Classic as compared to the Remastered because this one is simply more responsive. You can even turn it a quarter turn to really lock it in and fine tune it, whereas you'd need to turn the knob three, four, five times to feel the same difference on the Remastered chair. The way that these chairs rock and recline is gonna be the next thing that we look at. And this is the area that I actually feel that these two designs differ the most because it has the biggest impact on the way that the chairs feel while you are using them. So what is different about these designs that make them recline and rock differently? The first is going to be the pivot point on both chairs. So when we look at the classic version, we can see exactly where the chair pivots from. Right here. Now. When we look at the remastered version, we can see right away that Herman Miller moved this pivot point further back and it's more towards the middle of the chair. What does that do for your sitting experience? It changes how difficult it is going to be to recline and get back up in the chair. So I'll demonstrate what I mean first here with the remastered version. 
Both chairs are configured to be at about the same seat height, same tension, so they should be rocking and reclining with the same ease. What I want you to focus on is how the chair tilts and my backrest on the back. So when I rock and recline in the remastered, it's effortless. I don't have to use any muscles to move through the full range of motion. If I wanna stay here, it's very easy. I do not have to push my legs out, lock my abs in place, I just sit here. If I wanna go all the way forward and work in a fully upright position, I can do that as well and I can leave my back on the backrest and the chair does not force me backwards. This is because of the pivot point on the chair. It's not gonna be the case with the classic. It's gonna be a much different sitting experience. When I get down in this chair, the first thing that you'll notice is as soon as I sit down, the chair automatically automatically reclines and puts me in this midpoint stage. It really reminds me of the Cosm chair. So I can go fully back and leave my backrest on the back, but if I wanna go fully upright, I cannot leave my backrest on the back. I have to push forward, take my backrest off the back and force the chair up. And now if I want my back to touch the back, I will be forced to recline back. So you can use this chair in the forward tilt function, but it's still difficult to keep your back on the backrest. And this is gonna be the biggest difference between these two chairs when you are reclining. And this goes back to why Herman Miller redesigned their chair from the seat tilt to redesigning the way that it reclines and focusing on allowing the Aeron to be used in more upright and tasking applications. I think that Herman Miller did a fantastic job with redesigning this mechanism with that in mind. And that's why that I feel that the Aeron Remastered is probably the most comfortable chair for straight reclining and rocking while you're working. When we look at the armrests on both chairs, we are going to see some noticeable differences. The first major difference that we're going to see is the way that the height adjustment is performed depending on how old your Aeron Classic is. So the Aeron came out in the early 90s, but in the middle of 2004, Herman Miller decided to kind of revamp the way that the height adjustment process worked on the Aeron Classic. So if you have a chair prior to 2004, your height adjustment will be performed with kind of a roll system where you have to turn a knob to unlock the armrest and then it will allow you to move up and down and then you have to lock it back in place. They decided to update this design with a lever that you could simply flip up, move the chair up, move the arm up and down and then lock it in place. So much easier to use. So depending on how old your classic is, it might have the old system, but all of the remastered chairs will have the new height adjustment system. The next difference is going to come when you order the fully adjustable arm package. When you get the fully adjustable arms on the classic version, you get height adjustment and you get arm pivot adjustment. If you upgrade to the fully adjustable arms on the Aeron Remastered, you get the same height adjustment, the same pivot adjustment, but you also get an added depth adjustment. This just gives you more versatility with the chair, great for tasking, computing applications, and overall, just more positions that you can put your arms in for your comfort level. And the final difference that we're gonna look at with the arms is going to be the arm pads themselves. And this is actually a pretty big change from the classic version to the remastered. You can see that the size and the shape is very similar, but the two main differences are gonna be how the arms are constructed and the material used on the outside. So you can see that on the outside of the Aeron Classic, the skin is gonna be much tougher. It's gonna to be a lot thicker, smoother, than the skin on the outside of this. And one problem that this causes is that eventually this will start to crack. Now, I will say that this arm is from 2001. And so it is held up for almost 20 years without cracking, which is really amazing. So it just goes to show the quality of an Aeron chair. But eventually it will break down and that's probably the biggest reason why they went to a softer pad because these aren't gonna crack as easy and they're gonna be a bit more comfortable because they're not as hard to the touch. Another major difference that we see with the design choice that Herman Miller decided to make is how they molded the foam basically to the plastic shell. So on the original Aeron Classic, we have a plastic mold here. This is what attaches to the arm frame and then it's attached with some staples and some glue and held in place and there's some foam underneath here. What Herman Miller decided to do was basically create a one piece unit. So what you have here is the same plastic mold to connect to the arm, but then the outer part here, this foam is kind of fused to this plastic part here. So it removes the failure point of the staples here. You can see that eventually this can come loose and come apart and that is a point of failure and they've removed that on the new design. So overall, I'm a big fan of the new arm pad. I think it's more comfortable and it's probably gonna last quite a bit longer than this design here. 
The remastered Aaron has only been sold for a few years, but I do feel that if the classic version was still being made new by Herman Miller, that it still would be one of the top end chairs available on the market. But with all good things, they eventually need an upgrade or an update to stay competitive with the highest end products available. And that's what Herman Miller did with their remastered chair. Now you do lose out by swapping to some plastic components from aluminum, and you are missing out on a little bit of tilt lock functionality going from infinite to three position tilt lock. But aside from those two minor changes, I do feel that you are getting a pretty big upgrade with the remastered over the classic. From my personal experience, it's a much smoother chair to use through the entire reclining process. You get a more adjustable arm package, the tension adjustment is easier to use, and overall I feel that it has a cleaner design than the classic. I think that Herman Miller did a fantastic job of st sticking to the original functionality, look, and design of the Aeron while making improvements to make it a better overall experience for the user. If you're interested in more content on either of these two chairs, then I would highly recommend clicking the link in the description, heading to our blog where we have a full post on these chairs along with much more information covering reviews, comparisons, and anything that you would want to know about the classic or the remastered Aeron. If you've made it this far in the video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ding that bell so that you know when we release our next office chair video. Thanks a lot for watching.